everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to angel love 333 hope everybody is doing fantastic getting ready here to do your all signs collective reading i'm going to check what the energies are uh, there will be a free extended that follows uh, this reading so it'll just come after i pull in the energy i'll let you know when we start and if you do enjoy this reading, as always, let me know by commenting, liking, engaging. I do appreciate all of your love and feedback. So we already got, wow, it's interesting what two cards came out. So this came out for a reason. I wasn't ready, but we have self-worth and we have self-love and we also have the past. Okay, so right there that tells me that you've learned a lot from the past and you know your worth, right? And you're very focused, I feel, on your desires and what you're trying to manifest and what you want to create in your life. So very powerful energy there. So with that, let's now see what else can you share with the collective? What do they need to know right now? Okay. Let's see what comes through here. Wow, a lot, a lot. again, powerful energy here. We have fate and we have the world. Okay, you've completed a karmic cycle in your life. There's a new chapter. That's what it's saying here. There's a new chapter and I have to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. You also have here the card of stability. So this is telling me that you have a new chapter in your life. I feel a new beginning, a new cycle. This could tell me there was some sort of divine detour. Okay, something didn't work out. For those of you watching, something didn't work out or something didn't go the way that it was planned because I feel like as a result, it's bringing you into a place of flow, okay? And flow is when we go with the energy, right? We stay in the present we're not too much about in the future. We're not too much about in the past. We really, you know, we know what we want, right? We think about what we want, but we don't try to force it to happen. We go with the flow, right? There could be a thought, yeah, I want this to happen, but if it doesn't happen, okay, I'm okay with it, right? Because I know the divine is going to take care of me. So very powerful energy showing up in your reading today. What else does... The collective need to know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Signs and synchronicities. Okay, some of you are seeing signs and synchronicities right now. Could be seeing uh, 222. That could be a validation here of this message, but it doesn't have to be 222. It could be anything. 1111. I saw 1111 this morning. Um, we also have here coincidence. Uh, messages from the universe okay so what's happening here what I'm gonna say is you got a text message you're gonna get some sort of communication here now you got a third party okay and as it relates to this energy okay this third party energy could be anybody okay it's somebody like in a social circle here it could be friends it could be somebody you met at a party Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not picking up an energy of anybody right now. So this isn't going to be your typical third party. What I feel this is, this is, this is competition. Okay, somebody is going to be competing for your attention is the energy that I'm really strongly picking up there. You're going to hear from somebody. Because again, there's some sort of new chapter I feel that's about to start for you. Well, let's see what else comes through. What else can you share? Huh? with the collective all right it's a new lover <laughs> the knight of wands now it can be the return of somebody but in the energy i'm picking up here so far i feel like this could be a new person it could be your next lover sometimes the knight of wands gets a bad rap um, because it's always read as the past person but it's not always oh my gosh look at that two knights that could be why we have third party. There could be two people here. Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. And I'm sorry if you hear some sort of uh, outside noise. There is, uh, I think, a gardener out there. So tends to get noisy. Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords. All right. 
could be two people I'm seeing here. Yep, Six of Pentacles. That's why there's a third party here. Nine of Wands. Three of Swords. Again, a three here. Three people involved in a situation. One of them, which there is heartbreak. Bottom of the deck here, yeah. Six of Cups and the Tower. That's why this is showing me. I feel there was an ending here, right? That was the karmic cycle. Okay, there was a divine detour. It didn't work out between you and this person for a reason. That person is returning. But what's interesting is you have this Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. See, there's a, there's a new chapter. Now, I'm going to say if it resonates with just one person, I'm going to clarify and maybe see if we can narrow down if this is two separate people or one person. But I see you moving in a direction here of giving your time and energy here to somebody okay somebody else okay i feel like there's two people we're going to clarify you have the seven of pentacles and you have the nine of wands interesting because you have a fire sign here you have a fire sign here it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a fire sign but i feel like there's someone here who's not going to give up on you But I see also somebody here thinking about what's invested. And then we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Three of Swords. See, there's some sort of fresh start, new beginning, also communication. All right, let's start clarifying. What can you tell me about this ending here, this Ten of Swords? Whoa, that flew out here. Cupid's arrow and you have healing heart okay yeah this person is returning there's somebody from your past that I feel hurt you this is a surprise invitation struck by love healing someone's coming back around to heal things with you let's clarify this knight of pentacles tell me more about this knight of pentacles Somebody's looking at your pictures, your photos. Love call. Look at that. Again, an, a message here. Well, I'm just going to say, may not be a new person here because I'm going to say here you have love call. You have pictures and you have cut down, okay? Well, take it how it resonates. If you're trying to manifest somebody new, it could, definitely could be a new person because this cut down could tell me you're stopping a pattern. You're stopping a pattern with somebody here. And there's a message here, okay? This could be a new person, somebody who's interested in you. Somebody somehow sees your pictures or your photos. You know, this is if you're online dating or on social media could be somebody you know here making new memories this card can talk about making new memories but it can also talk about missing you so take it how it resonates tell me in the comments if you think this is a new person or a past person i feel like if you're somebody like you cut somebody out of your life and you know you don't want to be with that person and this is a new person uh, for others i feel like some of you it may be a choice here in love with the six of pentacles now, tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. The snake, all right. And you also have here heartbreak. Yeah, this is, there's someone here that I feel hurt you. And with this Nine of Wands energy, it tells me they know they hurt you. They know they hurt you. This, um, talks about competition okay definitely get third party energy and i'm going to make it very clear third party does not necessarily mean another lover it could be anything or anyone that interferes in this connection so i'm going to tell you it could be work 
It could be a coworker, it could be a friend, it could be family. So I just wanna make that clear because I get comments. Why do you have to say it's a third party? Well, third party does not necessarily mean the other man or the other woman. It can be something else that interfered that this person was giving to because for those of you, it only resonates with one person. This person was giving to something else in the past and it was very hurtful to you, whatever this person was giving to. But I see this person beat up over it, okay? So it's not just you feeling the hurt, this person's feeling the hurt as well. So I feel like that's why things didn't work out, okay? And that, that fate and that um, wheel of fortune energy, something, the divine intervened here because like I said, it wasn't working and I feel like this person was hurting you. So let's clarify. I'm so sorry I hear that uh, gardener again. Tell me more about this three of swords. Tell me more about this three of swords. Okay, we got the teddy bear and grounding. Oh my gosh. And we got the girl with the snake. Okay. So this can talk about your boundaries. This could also talk about enabling behavior. There's definitely heartbreak here. Heartbreak because I feel somebody did you wrong. The teddy bear here and the grounding. This person's going to come back around. They're going to try and flirt with you again. You're going to get communication. Because no matter what happened, this person misses you. That's what it's showing here. And look, you have the tower. There's not a strong foundation. This person knows that. They're coming her back around to heal things. I also feel like there's a new energy, but I'm going to clarify here. Tell me more about this. Sorry, everyone. I had to pause because that noise was just getting too loud. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Is this a new person or is this somebody from the past? I'll narrow this down. Hmm. I didn't ask specifically, but I'm going to say the answer that I get here is that yes, this is a new person. And the reason why, and some of you, you're not going to resonate with a new person because I know some of you just by your comments, some of you may not be looking for new love, but what I do see here is a choice, okay? So it's whether you take a new path or you go down the same path with this person because you also have here needed change. And I feel like that's part of the decision that you're making with this person is that something has to change, I feel, for you to even think about going down this path with this person. So that's what the needed change is. The Six of Swords, the needed change is moving towards something that is stable. Again, stable here. You also have here the Four of Wands and the Eight of Coin. Okay, you want something to move towards something stable is what I'm really picking up here and that's going to be the decision. So, now I'm going to ask, because this is what I wanted to ask in the first place, is this Knight of Pentacles a new love? Yes or no? Is this a new love? Yes or no? Okay, yes. Okay, that's what I felt for a lot of you. But again, if it doesn't resonate for new love, then it may just be the idea of new love where you're at this crossroads. Yeah, look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ten of Coin. So I feel like this new energy coming in for you could potentially lead to something long lasting. Let's ask about this uh, Knight of Wands. Is What else can you say about this Knight of Wands? What else do we need to know about this Knight of Wands? The world card oh my gosh the world and you have the three of wands and you also have here the three of cups that tells me they're coming they're coming they're going to want a new chapter with you they're going to try and communicate the three of wands tells me that 
the opportunity this the opportunity is coming around again i would say be cautious because you also have the devil card here which tells me you could repeat a pattern with this person there could be an unhealthy pattern with this person or something about their habits see oh my gosh there's confirmation look at that the knight of wands the knight of wands wow let's let's get into the extended okay so what this really tells me there's some breakthroughs happening here but i feel that there's a new chapter ahead of you and there's competition here so it's not only that this past person is returning i feel there's somebody new coming in your life or you're making the decision to, to move towards new love okay oh my gosh as i say that you're making the decision here look at that choices seven of cups you have choices and this is also about you making healthy choices for yourself so let's see uh what is this person we're gonna do the person from the past what is this person thinking or feeling about you right now four of pentacles the empress see they want to hold on to you they want a new beginning some of you, it's they want to hold on to your energy because your energy may be very, very nurturing to this person. Very nurturing, and they want to hold on to that. Three of Wands. The Magician. Let's see what else? Yeah, see? Look at this. The Three of Wands, the Magician, and the Five of Swords tells me they're conflicted. And I feel like it's about taking things to the next step where it's the you have the three of wands to the four of wands. Ten of swords, though, they want a new beginning. That's what they have hope here. So they are thinking about the future. But as far as the action, taking things to the next level, I do get an energy there. They're very, very conflicted here. But they have hope for a new beginning. Yep, there's the Ace of Swords again. So they're having some epiphanies, some realizations. They want to communicate. They want to fresh start with you. What's this person's upcoming actions towards you? What's this person's upcoming actions towards you? Judgment. Queen of Swords. I almost feel um, there may be some sort of truth from the past that they want to express they want to make peace here a reconciliation ten of cups energy four of wands bringing things to a more stable place after disappointment emperor planning their next move so this person's planning okay planning yep look at that ace of pentacles well i do feel like this is someone planning for the future okay to build stability here look at that king of swords the counterpart here so i almost feel like there's something hidden here okay look at the devil see something that so, something's hidden that they need to tell you that they need to be truthful about to bring this reconciliation with you that's what they're planning here It could be about their actions of the past I'm getting here as well. Your intuition is probably already telling you what it is. What is this person's intentions coming towards you? What's this person's intentions coming towards you? Okay, Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands. Nine of Swords. Ace of Swords tower wow two of swords the hierophant okay knight of swords well i have to be honest here is someone very attracted to you they're showing up as the knight of swords they're worried here i feel like if this is a pattern with this person who's very inconsistent hot and cold gives you mixed signals be cautious with this person because I feel like you're not going to feel at peace with this person because we do have the ace of swords and we have the tower now they do want to build trust again with you 
I do feel like there's something here that they need to tell you, but the Two of Swords and the Hierophant here tells me, I feel like this is somebody who couldn't be consistent with you or couldn't commit um, or stay committed. I'm going to say here, you got um, this indecisive energy with this person, and this could definitely be a pattern. And I talked about the pattern with this person. So I say be very, very cautious to this with this person and really listen to your intuition because I do feel, you, you know, you do have the Knight of Cups. This could be somebody coming in for the romance, okay? But not necessarily somebody who is going to be real committed here. And remember I said here the three of, three of Wands. It's like they're looking at the future and it's like, the magician here is making things happen, but then they're in conflict here, okay, about taking the next step. And then they're indecisive here about, you know, commitment or being committed, okay? This is someone who likes their freedom. The Knight of Wands is somebody who likes their freedom, okay? It could be somebody always on the move, always on the go. I'm going to say, if you know that there's a third party involved, and we talked about what the, the explanation of third party is, and there's a decision around that. This could also tell me this is somebody who is not making any decisions. Okay. Could also tell me with the strength card here. Yep. That they're holding back from making any decisions here. Could also tell me they haven't really found a solution to the situation yet, but they know they want to come back around. Okay. Without taking care of what they need to do okay that's why I feel you got the fate card that there was some sort of divine intervention that happened because it wasn't working with you and this person you and this person were not in alignment and that's why I feel like too the universe okay or spirit here is showing you there's somebody else there's another love interest coming into your life and I feel like this person it could be something very very long lasting so um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.